Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna go visit a friend here at the hospital, just real quick. And then, uh, you know, been out and about here for a little bit, you know, just traveling, the, traveling my area. And um, I wanna give a shout to uh, the newest member to the group. Uh, in addition to, you know, newer subscribers as well. But uh, Fed Up 47 is uh is now an all-star member get some advanced viewing on some videos well every video but uh okay with that being said let me uh let me get to work here and we'll be back in a minute here with some updates on uh someone's condition here that everybody seems to you know enjoy their uh their videos so we're gonna see um gotta check things out but i'm on my way all right, be back in a minute, guys. How's it going, everybody? Well, here's the deal. As you can probably guess by the background here, we're at the hospital. And uh, I don't have to tell you that it's less than idea to uh, need to go to the hospital. I don't know, for any reason. <laughs> Unless, you know, maybe childbirth or something. Something cool. Otherwise, it's for reasons which are not cool. I got experience in that department. All right, guys, we're gonna tune back in here shortly. Gotta get through security without 100 questions. All right, see you in a bit. What's happening, guys? Uh, What's going on, brother? Traveling to Valley, no. Yeah. Yeah, I brought you guys some lunch. Uh, yeah. There's a couple trucker burgers. Now, you're probably not used to being able to eat this good stuff. Uh -huh. There's a couple yeah. drinks in there before the bag rips. I just got them a few minutes ago. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, got a mountain lightning and a Dr. Pepper Thunder. <laughs> but uh, I wasn't sure if you were allowed to eat. I'm sure you're allowed to eat and stuff. I'm allowed to do whatever. But yeah. Well, yeah, it goes without saying. I mean, see. But, yeah. I don't know. Well, you have medicine that way. Well, have you been eating? I mean, have they yeah. been bringing our lunch? Okay, so she's not on she's dietary. Not, no, no, she's not on liquids or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah like dietary restrictions. Yeah, no, but, good. Uh, I mean, given him, when, when she got here finally, I've been mean, giving him half, like I gave him half my breakfast. Morning. They haven't been giving him a tray for himself? Mm -hmm. A lot of times they do. You got a bunch of blueberries? Yeah. I was excited about the blueberries. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, there's lettuce, tomato, pickle, all that stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Onion. How you been, man? Good. How you been? I mean, decent. Actually, I mean, all, all circumstances aside. Right. Like, sure. Well, it's been a right. been a little bit since I saw you last. Yeah. yeah. Um. No luck on the dog. Mm -hmm. No. Really? How long have you been here, Sarah? Um, my third day. Uh, three days, two nights. Three days and two nights. What? Uh, they taking care of you? Mm -hmm. I mean, she's lovely. You got some mm -hmm. antibiotics going. You see you had an infection? Yeah. Wow. Did you do you have an idea as to how long you may have had it? I've had it for a couple of weeks now. Really? I haven't had a kid, so have they named it? I mean, do they know what it is or just the bacteria involved? Well it is it, a it's an infection. Yeah. It's gotten got worse. What uh so it, is there had been any talk of like when when they can say you can leave or no goals for going home is still blank <laughs> oh well yeah that doesn't they had, help they had the wrong day marked all day yesterday yeah <laughs> they had it as monday all day yesterday how's the staff been pretty cool staff has been amazing been fantastic like, shout out to hamilton medical center yeah five for, stars good deal good especially amy in the er department yeah <laughs> Oh my God, she went. She got me everything I might need and some. Above and beyond. Above and beyond. It's good for you, man. Um, she was just the sweetest thing ever. Always oh, scanning them with the phone. I was like, how do you know if they're winners? Just by you know, you look at them for two seconds. Uh, yesterday. What do you got the lottery app or something? Yeah. That's cool. Winning yesterday. I walked down the road, coming here, picked up a ticket, hundred bucks. No way. I, I want hundred. Let me give me that sandwich four. back. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I'm broke now, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, people, you know, they say, oh, you don't win nothing on those. And, you know, there's a guy, Johnny, 
I see all the time. He's like, I just won 500 bucks two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, people just throw them out. You know, mm -hmm. there's a fight to see if you can get to the can first. You know, <laughs> a lot of times. You know, then you don't know if someone else already checked them and threw them back in the garbage. Yeah. You know? As so we've got a little kind of like a deal between all the people that check them. Yeah. You know, we only use certain cans that don't weigh. Oh. Uh -huh. So we now you can pretty much tell like you can look at the stack and see whose it was. Like, is it just how they organize their tickets and how they... Should, uh, mm -hmm. maybe just get the idea of, like, when you check them and they're no good, just rip them in half. But that way if you up, see a... People rip up tickets, though. That's true. She, a lot of times, exits hers. Do you need, uh, do you need the whole ticket to cash in or, or nope, just the barcode? Just the barcode. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I've cashed in, I cashed in $500 on just a barcode before. How many times have you won? Or I should years, say found. In the past three years, quite a few. Really? $500 a few times, but it's... A few times. Probably six or seven. Six or seven times? 500 bucks? On a, on a ticket out of the track. Yeah. I just won my first hundred the day before he won his hundred. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. They were laughing at me at the car wash for picking it up. Because I, yeah. I waited on the traffic go by. I walked out in the middle of the road, picked up the ticket, walked back. Yeah. The sidewalk. Better than standing at the street corner with a sign. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not illegal. In, in my opinion. What is the deal with the sign? If you have a sign, they, they you, I don't know what, I don't really don't know, I just know not to do it. <laughs> okay, because you've been told by whom? The police. The police told you you cannot hold a sign. Uh, yeah, a cardboard it. sign that you wrote yourself with a Sharpie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I find this to be it's highly, it's highly suspicious as to a constitutional violation. Uh, like, yeah, like freedom of speech. Now, the lady that asks that says that, that stands outside the Walmart. I'm not knocking her, but stands outside the Walmart with the sign and sells flowers. Yeah, I see her all the time. Flower, yeah, I see her for every day. Yeah, right at the right at the little yeah. the the split. The split, yeah. yeah. She no sign doesn't matter. I, I don't know what it says, but it's in Spanish. But yeah, well, she's selling the flowers. I brought her a water and a lunch before, and she's just like, hey, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm collecting money from these, you know, people that drive by. I see her over. She's parks at uh, Food City downtown. Did she parks? Yeah. Well, I mean, she sets yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah. Well, I'm sure she parks there. I should watch her one day getting her Escalade, right. getting the Escalade to Tahoe, yeah. you know, and drive off. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd come in and check on you guys, man. No, yeah, I really appreciate that. No, I got your text, and I was like, damn, I wonder how she been. You know, it's been a few days since I saw you, and you were out and about in another spot, you know, for the time being. But uh, been able to catch up now, and everything's back to back to business. You guys, how are you feeling? More importantly, you feeling better than before, or you just look, you look kind of tired? That's, that would be the hydro in the Adivan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be the hydro photo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah. Well, is there anything that you guys can need here in the next couple of days? Because you don't know when you're getting out. Yeah. At least you got 100% charging capability and Wi-Fi. And a shower. I'm very excited oh, about that. Yeah. Oh, shower. Yeah. You take three a day. I'm about, I'm about to go take another shower. I believe it. Yeah. yeah you take it, hey, while you can. Um, got to flip flops or anything with you? No flip flops. I know it is kind of weird request. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. It doesn't sound weird because I got some at the house. All right, I can bring you some flip flops. I got some at the crib. What size foot do you have? I mean, like your actual foot. If you go to buy shoes, what do no you get? Line, dude. I get like a eleven normally. Yeah. Somewhere around there. What about you, ten, Sarah Beth? Ten and a half wide. Do a twelve. We'll do. It depends on the manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Um. I think my boots are actually size, ten. Seven, eight and a half. Seven to eight and a half. That's kind of a. Pretty good <laughs> variance there. Um, all right. Well, okay, more more like seven and a half, eight. Oh, okay. We'll do that. All right. I guess in my opinion, it's kind of better to have a little bit of a bigger shoe, you know, because if it's too tight, you can't fix that. And then if they're too big, you can put on another pair of socks. Well, I guess if, <laughs> providing you had an extra pair of socks, yeah. if any, you know, if any. You don't know when you're going to get out. That's that's the frustrating part. Because I was going to say, if you guys need, you know, give me a call um, when you're about to, you know, know you're going to be able to get out, and I'll come pick you up and 
bring you to wherever you got to go. You know. Well, yeah. at least we're taking care of you here. You know, you've got a good experience so far. Oh, yeah, <coughs> and, and uh, this is the best experience I've ever had at this hospital. So. Well. If anybody ever down, uh, downs it, I'm I'm gonna be like. Uh, you're gonna pipe up. No. I had the best experience ever. And That's, uh, you know what that reminds me of is like when you see a movie or somebody tells you don't see that movie, that it horrible. sucked. Yeah. Then you great. see it and you're like, oh, I love this movie. Yeah. You know, you got to take the opinion yep. of somebody with a grain of salt, you know, mm -hmm. so, to, so to speak. Yep. Yeah, All right, I'm going to. approach things is very important. Oh, attitude's everything, for sure. That, yeah, that is it. I'm going to make like a tree and, uh, yeah. what do they say? Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> leave. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. But uh, all right, man. Dude, thank you. Come here. Hey, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah, Always, no, 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 no. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll put those sandals in my car. I know exactly where they are. They're on my little. I got a bunch of tables set up in my garage where I got things I mean, you don't somewhat need organized. No, I don't. You know, so exactly. They got the thing where the splits with the toe, and I can't do that. The yeah. split toe thing, I can't. I just can't do it. Sorry, okay. but I got to be stealth. All right, I'm gonna shut down right here. All right, gang. Vacating the premises here at the hospital. Gonna go out and find some people that might might be uh, a little hungry today. Pretty toasty out. I think in my car it was 81 degrees, but that was I don't know half hour ago. But I uh, went in and saw Sarah Beth and, and William. And uh, they don't know when she's gonna get out. Guess she's got a pretty pretty nasty infection. Today's day three. Been there three days. All right, we're gonna get back with some other uh, live action. Be back in a bit. <laughs> 